We are Elaine and Darren, and this is Max. In early 2018, we purchased a small piece of land in central Portugal, and in 2020, we purchased our tiny house. As soon as we are able, we will drive our self-built camper van to our little house and build a semi-self-reliant life for ourselves on our land. In the meantime, we continue to enjoy the UK and get a lot of pleasure from sharing our lives with you. If you would like to follow our journey, please subscribe to our channel. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the like button as that really helps our channel grow. We really hope you enjoy the video. Hopefully you saw our previous video when we managed to pick up a box of food uh, that would ordinarily have gone into uh, into landfill and we managed to rescue that and, uh, and, and use that food for our for our week's food. Uh, since then we've been very interested in in finding other opportunities uh, for saving food from going into the dumpsters or into the landfill uh, and we found an app called the Too Good To Go app. Um, and it's basically shops that have uh, wasted food or food that would have would have been wasted uh, then get sold off quite cheaply comparatively uh, uh, via the app and we go and pick up the food. So what we'll do is we'll show you uh, a week or a couple of weeks uh, of us collecting food um, from whatever source we can really other than um, mainstream supermarkets. We don't expect to get all of our food from the app or from uh, the refuse you know, uh, boxes and things like that. Um, but we're gonna get uh, as much as we can and we'll try and share all of that with you. So the app gives us a, a little notification down here uh, in our favorites section that there is some food available for collection so tonight, um, between the hours of 7 and 10, uh, we could pick up um, a Morrison's Daily uh, food bag if we wanted to. Um, it's just telling us that there's actually three left for the day. Um, but we have got some BP ones, BP m &S ready to collect. Uh, that's this section down here on the app. So we're not really in need of this one at the moment. One of the pros of getting food like this is you never know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And last night we got three tubs of pineapple chunks. Not something we would normally buy. And it does need to be used up fairly quickly. And I just thought, why not have pineapple upside down cake? So that's what I'm making now. And then what it also means is I can make sure that all these little bits of plastic go in the bin and the harder bits get washed and I can recycle them in the recycle bin. I'm going with the theme of not knowing what you're going to get. Our last bag or two gave us a big pile of mixed chilies, some root ginger and some little tomatoes. So, yeah, we could just eat those on salad. I wouldn't ever get through all of these chilies um, just in cooking. But with the few peppers that I bought today from a um, normal shop, what that means for us is chili jam. So it's a uh, quarter to nine on a Sunday evening and we're just off to pick up our food from our Too Good To Go. Uh, we're going to um, a Marks and Spencer's store within a petrol station. So we'll just take you along with us. Okay, good idea. Thanks. <laughs> Have I got me app? Has me one look just there, just in case I want some chocolate or something.
two bags from this um, small M&S Simply Food. Luckily, Little Gems is my favourite lettuce, isn't it, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I think, uh, I think yeah, they've, over, they've overdone it a little bit on the Little Gems, let's be honest. Oh, nice, yeah. Is that more flatties again? Uh, no, slightly different, some kind of kebab. So what are you thinking of that haul, then? <laughs> Um, average, loads of lettuce, so a little bit, mm, but... Yeah, we will get through the lettuce. Oh, absolutely, yes. We've got 12 little gems. Six packets, two in each, yes. So that's a little bit crazy. So actually not too bad. Good, yeah. yeah. That's a good, good one, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's Sunday night and we've just got back. It's about half nine now. That's our M&S uh, food bag. Uh, or two MS food bags. So that's not a bad, not a bad start. Thought we would just quickly share this with you. Um, we were posting some parcels and popped into the nearby Aldi. No, sorry, we popped into the nearby Lidl. We always get those two confused um, to see if they had any veg boxes and luckily today they had five or six. They are £1.50 each and so we just spent a total of £3 on these and it's basically they just fill it with everything that's sort of near the end of its date or just on date. Great, all fruit and veg, brilliant. Okay, so it's Wednesday. Uh, last night at about 11 o'clock I managed to secure um, a couple of bags for our favourite shop uh, that, we used, that we like to pick up stuff from. Uh, so we're going to be off to them now. It's just coming up to 8 o'clock now. The pickup for this shop is between 8 o'clock and 11. So we're going to get ourselves away. We've ordered two bags. For this particular shop we have to take our own bags and they basically fill everything up into our bags. So what we do is we take as big a bag as we can. Uh, so yeah, so I'm just waiting for Elaine now. She's just out with Max, just taking Max for a walk. And then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll get ourselves away. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I had the camera ready to do some filming and you weren't there. Oh. You went around a different block. Did you? I was only expecting you to go there and come back. <laughs> yep, so I'm going to nip in and um, show them me app, collect the food. Yay. Yep. And it's always exciting this moment. Apprehensive. Yeah, apprehensive. What are you going yeah. to get? Yeah, it's always quite a nice feeling to see what uh, what we're going to get. So we're going to go for it. That looks like a really good bag. Cool. I'll show you when we get back home. I'll show you what we've got on. But uh, not too bad. So yeah, we picked up a couple of uh, what initially looked like some really nice bags. They looked like quite a lot of bitty stuff though, like small bits and bobs, um, like a little cheese and uh, a little bag of fruit, uh, things like that. So I'm um, not quite sure what we're going to get yet, but um, you know, not quite sure what's exactly in the bags yet. But that's a part of the excitement of this. We just really enjoy getting out and seeing what we're going to get and. Uh, and getting it home and laying it all out on the table. So that's uh, 
anything that goes in a salad because we've still got a pile of um, little gems. We're getting through them, but we still need something more to go with our little gems. <laughs> <laughs> so anything that goes with a salad will be handy, yeah? Would be good. Oops, that little Mac's getting in the way as well, aren't you? You need to get on on the, on the photograph too, don't you? So we'll get ourselves back home and, uh, and then we'll show you what we've managed to pick up. So what are your first thoughts on this uh, collection this evening? It's a bit cheesy. You know what my, my first thought here is? Uh-huh. The amount of food. Yep, it is very good. It's also, this would have all been put into landfill obviously. Yeah. This would have all just gone to waste. And I'm just thinking of all of these plastic bags for example that are on the salads here yeah so if that would have just gone into landfill we can now eat as much of the salad as possible if the salad's slightly slightly browning maybe and going compost and then the bags we can recycle the bags hopefully so eight pound for all of that um it's probably not our best probably not the best for variety nor for but... variety but yeah. lots of it, nevertheless. Majority of that will get eaten, yeah. The majority will. I don't know how we're going to eat all of that blue cheese. So we've been to Little this morning and managed to pick up a couple of veg boxes, a couple of their waste not boxes, which we're quite pleased about. Um, looking through them quickly, they're looking, uh, they're looking pretty good. The thing here is that Elaine went this morning, I think she was there about eight o'clock or something like that, and there were no boxes out at all. So uh, they were clearly uh, just getting them organised. Uh, so we've been back about about 10 o'clock, uh, just to double check, and there were about six boxes there. So we managed to pick up a couple of boxes for ourselves. So uh, we'll show you through those. Lots of mushrooms, which is good, because we go eat a lot of mushrooms. Some mint, lots of lovely tomatoes. So British scarlet tomatoes and marvellous and then two little escapees that have obviously tried to make a run for it um, a small so we've got two large mushrooms a medium and a small six packs of padron, oh, peppers. padron peppers lots of these padrons to work out what to do as you say a relish sounds pretty cool mm. i like those um shallots look lovely yeah. two packs of pointed peppers when we eat lords of peppers excellent Loads of mushrooms, which is absolutely perfect again. Yeah. Loads of tomatoes. You can't really see from this shot, but look at all of these tomatoes. Three packs, and they're, they're still all firm. They're yeah. lovely, so they'll be tasting delicious. Yeah. And all your L salads. Yeah, and a melon, and some lettuce, and Little mint, gems. and yeah. Oh, and... S yeah, that's the aubergines we've already seen, and more mm. mushrooms. So a fair bit. So this, um, in itself, this one cost us... Three pounds. Two three. packs at one fifty each. But we do have to travel a couple of miles to get these because our local little, which literally we can walk to in two minutes, their boxes are absolutely shocking. We don't mind going a couple of miles to the next one. To, to get some good quality food, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is definitely is, even though it's out of date. Uh, well, only just. I mean, that mushroom, for example, is the fifth. What's today? Today's the fourth, and that's the fifth as well. These ones look seventh of July. Yeah. And Probably today. just because they're looking a little bit sweaty, but oh, I think this plasticky stuff just does make them sweat. It does. Yeah. So mm -hmm. some of it's not even really out of date yet, is it? Not at all. Excellent. That's a really good veg box. <laughs> Lovely. Good haul. good haul, as they say. <laughs> Right, I've got to go, got to pick Jade up from work. So I've done a bit of research and the Padron peppers are quite a Spanish delicacy, like a tapas thing. And they just do them simply in a really hot pan with some olive oil and they sear them until the skin starts to crisp and 
blister and then they sprinkle it with sea salt and just eat it um, usually as an accompaniment they're not particularly hot or spicy although you can get the odd one that's spicy which apparently makes it fun um, so I've kept uh, one ball here that I'm going to do that way for tea so I've picked through all of the bags that I had and um, they are like the best ones the about the same size and quite firm and then the rest I'm going to make up like a, a green pepper relish so I'm going to put in the rest of the peppers the shallots that we got um, I'm gonna I've bought some green chilies then I've got some lime and parsley and I'm just going to make some kind of relish that we can then keep and enjoy throughout the next month. So we built a, um, again, is it Aldi or Lidl? I don't have no idea. 